Happy Thursday, Gold Diggers. Kimberly Olson here coming in live, <clears throat> obviously known as the Gold Digger Girl as well. And I'm so pumped about this training because I think that this is probably some new information for you. And I'm really, really pumped whenever I can share with you some things that are working for myself and my team to be able to hopefully help you to feel more confident when it comes to recruiting. Because most people get through their warm market pretty quick and then they feel stuck because they're trying to build up on social media through cold messaging and they're not getting very far. Can, can any of you relate to that? So go ahead and put one in the comments if you're watching this live, put two if you're watching the replay. And if you're new and you've never seen my videos before, put new, I wanna welcome you. Thanks for watching today. And then also if you share this out, sharing is caring. Mm -hmm. True story, so put shared in the comments. This would be great to share with anybody you know who is in direct sales, network marketing, or is trying to build their business on social media. So if you have a lot of followers like that, you can share it to your personal page or even in a team page, okay? So just put shared in the comments if you share this out. So I'm gonna tell you two things about Tony Robbins really quick and then we're gonna jump in because people are rolling on, you know how that goes. Okay, so I was listening to this and this is about the power of mindset. This is about the power of how you, your predis predispositions and how the way you think about things, I wanna prove it to you, that I believe mindset is everything and I'm gonna prove it. It's not just me, some woo-woo, the secret, law of attraction, I'm gonna prove it right now, okay. So, Tony Robbins uh, was sharing this great training he did and he said that there was, uh, the, the scenario is there's 200 actors, okay, and they were split in groups. <clears throat> A group of 100 had hot coffee in their hands and the group the other group of 100 had cold coffee in their hands. So in the morning, they went around, I don't know if it was New York City or wherever, but they, they had to go out and find people to say, here, will you hold my coffee really quick? I need to, um, they had to do something with their cell phone. Can you hold my coffee really quick? I need to grab my cell phone. And so they handed the coffee to the person, grabbed their cell phone and then grabbed it back. So it was like a really quick transaction, okay? Here, can you hold this really quick? I need to dig out my cell phone out of my purse kind of thing, okay? Half the group had hot coffee, the other group had cold coffee. So about 35 minutes later, um, this was all set up, by the way. About 35 minutes later, another group of people uh, had clipboards with uh, a quick survey, and they were in that same area, and they said, hey, if you uh, fill this out, we'll give you 20 bucks. There's two, two paragraphs here, read it really quick. Two responses, we'll give you 20 bucks. So people were like, 20 bucks, sure. So in the same area, people are circulating around, they come over, sign the clipboards, blah, blah, blah. So of course, this was being studied and observed. 80% of the people who had the hot coffee handed to them. They didn't even drink the coffee. 80% handed, and they filled it out. It was a story about, uh, it was just like a fable. The story, they responded that the character, the main character was very generous and warm. The people who had the cold coffee handed to them said that the, the main character was unkind and cold. 80%, one was like 81%, the other was 80%. You can't make this stuff up, you guys. And this other example is women are tested taking this exam and the very first question was different, okay? for They split it in half. So in America, when somebody, uh, the people who are from Asia, kind of the stereotype is people from Asia are, they perform better in math, mathematics and science. That's just like culturally what Americans think about people from Asia. And of course, people who come over to America already like can feel this, this perception. We also have been conditioned, which having two girls just fires me up. We've been conditioned to think that men are better at math and science. For the record, I won the whole state competition in third grade for math, so don't even try it. Anyways, I digress. So the preconception is here in America that men perform better at math and science. So they tested, uh, Asian women took this test, split it in half. One test, the first question said, what is your race? Oh, no, 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 Are, what is your gender, male or female? So they put female, took the test. The other ones, other test said, what is your ethnicity? And they put obviously Asian. So this is Asian women who were tested. The, the women who had the first question on gender performed 10% lower than the women who had uh, the, the ethnicity question. They performed 10% higher, it was I think 11 and 11, 22% difference from one question on a test because that question made them decide if they were good at math or science. 
I can't make this stuff up. So I wanna challenge you to implement Mel, Mel Robbins 54321. Whenever that thought pops in your head, I'm not good enough, I'm dumb, people don't like me, I'm gonna prospect this person and they're gonna say no. I wanna share what I'm doing with my friend, my neighbor, my mom, my sister, and she's gonna be like, oh, another direct sales company? What are you, freaking the jack of all trades? When you get that in your mind, I want you to stop. The five, four, three, two, one, you count to five. You stop that thought in its tracks and you get a new thought, okay? That's your homework. All right, so let's jump in. Facebook, Facebook groups are dead. Put an emoji in the comments of how you're feeling about your prospecting. When it comes to getting people into your group, or, okay, or the engagement you're seeing with your group. So when you're trying to position things where people are to get into your group, or you're using the ATM method, which if you don't know what that is, it's add, tag, and message. So add prospects to a group, tag them in a pinned post or a video, then message them afterwards, okay? Put an emoji of how you're feeling with this. How effective is it for you? Okay, so some are saying not so good, some are saying good. What about sending the notorious video? You know what I'm talking about. I literally had a girl who just, she, um, I don't know why she thought that I was wanting to, to look at it, but she sent me a 50, it was like an, almost an hour long video. I was like, wow. So how is that working for you when you are sending that in Messenger, okay? So when you think about Facebook groups and the algorithm, what they've studied and they've done surveys and all of this stuff is that Facebook has found that people did not like being added to groups. You guys have heard me say this before if you've been following me. So just like getting on an email list, it's almost like a double opt-in, okay? So you have two choices when it comes to Facebook groups. You can add people yourself to a group and then let them know. They'll get a notification or you can send them the link. Always message them first. Don't just send the link because you will get put in Facebook jail. I've had people messaging me telling me that that's happened to them, okay? So you're gonna add them to the group then you are going, you can send them the link. The other option is to tell them the group name and say, go ahead and jump in. But either way, it's going to say, would you like to join this group, okay? Before, before, what could we do? We could just add them into the group, right? We could add them and tag them. That's what we were doing, okay? Well, that's so 2018 and this is why. When you do that, you guys, one, the, uh, a girl, I'm not gonna mention her name, but one of my boot campers did a study a search, she, she kept track. She added, I think it was 100 people to her group and she said she thought they were just going in there and seeing the stuff. She was exposing them at ATM, ad tag message. So she tracked to see, okay, I've added 100 people in there. How many are actually in? Less than 20. So if you think when you're proud, and she's good, she's a six figure earner. So if you think you've got it down and you think when you add people to groups, they're actually getting in the groups, you are wrong. Go check, do a little study for yourself. The other thing is you wanna think about is it's it you lose control. And this is just like with the video, you lose control of the conversation. Because let's say, and I used to teach this stuff, you guys, but my job is to stay ahead of the game and cut, turn around and teach you, and I am staying ahead of the game. So what I used to do, Say I'm talking to Sarah, I'm like, hey Sarah, um, I wanna, you know, would you like to look at what I do? And Sarah's, oh, 13%. See, Vinette, you freaking rock, girl. She just jumps out of nowhere. 13% out of 100 people, you guys, your people are not getting in the, in the groups, okay? Say to Sarah, hey Sarah, I've got this thing, you wanna check it out? Sarah's like, sure, I'll look. I add her to the group, tag her in it, message, what do I think? I think Sarah's in the group checking my thing out, right? Wouldn't she want to? I mean, come on. Sarah's not checking the thing out. But then I'm waiting for Sarah, I'm like, okay, like what'd you think? And Sarah's like, oh, I've got these kids and then I've got dishes and my freaking husband. The next day goes by and you're like, should I message her? What do I do? Da, da, da. Right, there's anxiety, like this awkward, like what do I do? You message her, Sarah, hey, hey girl, I know yesterday was crazy, I got really busy too, you know, I was watching some TV. So what'd you think? And she's like, oh, Kimberly, I, I'm so sorry, I will watch it, I promise I'll watch it. Then what do you do? Do you message her again? Um, I've had people say, well, when can you watch it? You know, guys, like when people ask me that, I'm like, I don't know. I'm freaking just in time delivery. Like, I don't know when I'm gonna watch it, right? So remember at that situation when you're, you're cold messaging people, they might not have the value yet that you have because you know your opportunity is awesome, but they're busy. Like they don't even know anything about it yet. The value isn't there. You know how awesome it is. Like if they would just watch the video, right? But they don't know that. So to them, it's low on the priority list, but most importantly, you've lost control. So sometimes people will send a video directly in Messenger. So maybe you have a YouTube link 
and you're sending the video directly. This is smart. This is better than, than getting them in a group because now at least they can access the content. Them being in a group is great because they can see everything else, but let's just worry about that later, okay? So my first tip is don't stress about getting people in groups. Add them later. Once they're in the, con you're having some conversations, we got some three-way chats going, maybe we're getting them some samples. Hi, Kim. Let's go ahead and put them in the group later, okay? Don't worry about the group. Next step as you evolve is the video, okay? So this is where you have, because if it's in a group and you send it, they can't view the video unless they're in the group. So you're gonna wanna have it either something that's on a personal page or a business page or on YouTube. That's best, obviously, because then you can send it to anybody, even somebody in text message. Have your favorite video, you guys. Have it saved on your phone. A lot of times when I ask people, well, what video do you send? And they're like, I don't know. I don't know which one to send. There's like a couple that I like, but I just don't like any of them. You, you have to have that video chosen, okay? Have it saved on your phone. So you send them the video. So again, this is better than a group, but you can lose control as well here because Crystal, let's say Crystal's like, oh, sure, I'll look at what you're doing. So I send Crystal the video. I'm like, here's a short video. Tells you a little bit about the products, the company, uh, how awesome it is. Go ahead and watch it. Let me know when you're done. Again, I have lost control because now I'm waiting for Crystal to watch the video. Do you guys see how this like stops everything? You lose momentum and then you can't like be in that message anymore. It's just sort of at a standstill because you're kind of waiting. Okay, so it's, you can still do those things, but if you're feeling like I'm just not getting there, then we wanna change things up, okay? So what I recommend doing is doing a little bit differently. If on a, uh, let's say there is, you could still do it this way actually. If you have a website with your company that has a video on it, that could be really cool. So what you can do is when you're conversing, and I did a whole training in the game of networking on this, so go watch that if you're not in that group. I just did it this week, and it's a webinar, so it's like, shows you everything. Um, but what you're gonna do is you're, con you're conversing back and forth, and we're like, sure, I'll take a look. Say, awesome. Tell me more about what you're looking for or what you would hope to get from this. So if you're leading with a product, tell me what you would like to get from, what benefits would you like to achieve with this? Or if they're looking at the business side, what would you hope to get? Uh, what are you looking for uh, in the business side? Are you looking for doing something freedom-based where you can travel? Are you looking for something where you can make some extra cash? Are you looking for something that uh, you can really get behind? You know, the product's really important to you. What are you looking for so I can point you in the right direction on the website because if you have this video already chosen it's kind of like that's the video or you could say to them tell me a bit more about that tell me a little bit more about what you're looking for and I will send you an appropriate video to watch okay so you either get them to your website with a video or some information okay we want information that's what people want get it to them but it doesn't stop there so, you, so they say to you, well, I wanna know more about the, the compensation plan. Like, I'm not new to network marketing, I wanna know more how I would make money. What you do is you either send them a video on the compensation plan, you can send them a graphic, you could send them to the website, most websites don't ha have that, but if they did, send them what they just commented on, and then you say to them, I'm gonna get you, let me get you some more details on that uh, so, you can under so we can understand that, understand that a little bit better. Without asking them, you give them the content that they ask for, give them the website, give them the video, give them the comp plan, whatever. Then you put them in the three-way chat and then you get your upline. And for those that your uplines aren't doing this, just have them watch this video. Uplines, you need to be helping your downline, okay? Just throwing that out there. You need to, you, you make money off of them. It's your job to help them. Okay, so with the three-way chat, you're gonna grab your upline, give your upline the background. Hey, I've got you know Lillian here. She wants to know more about the comp plan, okay? I'm gonna put us in a chat. You don't ask Lillian, you just do it. So then you get in the three-way chat and you say, Lillian, this is my friend. Stephanie, she knows so much more about the comp plan. It's just not my jam. She's gonna tell you more about how it's different, how, uh, how, what you could expect to get started and explain that graphic I just sent to you. So now the, the prospect's like, oh, that makes sense because it's just a graphic. Like how am I supposed to know what these freaking numbers mean? I don't know what all the, the, you know, it's like another language, isn't it? I swear, somebody has to just like do a training on comp plans. But then my expert upline can swoop in and say, oh yeah, like I've made a million dollars with this company because it's such a lucrative comp plan, you know, and you know, I've been able to help, you know, 50 people get their auto bonus, auto bonuses, like your upline can give you that clout, right? And so she can tell about the comp plan. Most people, this is what they can expect when they first start out. So now the prospect has some third party validation. It's not just you, especially if you're new and you don't have that posture yet. 
Like I, I have enough success where I can just point to my own team, but if you don't and you're new, borrow confidence from your upline. Borrow confidence. Your upline will come in and share the stats and drop the data and, and give that social proof where that person's like, wow, okay? And then after you're chatting, questions are answered, blah, 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 then you can go back and be like, okay, what questions did you have? Did you, uh, you like the comp plan? Like, um, what, what else, you know, what other questions do you have? And then you can just go from there. And trust me, it's not gonna be like, so what are you thinking? Like, it's gonna be such a different conversation than the weird, like, ATM and then it's just, I don't know. I feel like this way, I know this way, is so much more real and what people want and it's a natural process and you're able to find out. So what you can say is, so you said that you wanted to make a few extra hundred dollars a month, that's just all you were looking for. Now that she explained the comp plan, can you see how that can be, that could work into your life? She's like, yeah, say great. Do you want me to go over, can I go over the different ways to get started with you? We have different packages, can we go over that now? and then get their permission, present to them, and then see what they wanna do. And that's it, you guys. It's freaking not rocket science. You guys got this, okay? So, um, many chat. So, oh, Christy, you're so sweet to watch the whole video. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, many chat crash course is starting next week. Put link in the comments, link, L-I-N-K, put link in the comments. For those that just watched my video on how I built my email list to over 6,000 in the last year, it's in the gold diggers of network marketing. Put link in the comments so you guys can see the many chat, how Messenger automatically messages you. The second choice is my social media blueprint, which I was just talking about is my freebie. I want you guys to see how that's given to you via many chat, okay? So you guys put link in the comments, L-I-N-K. Thanks, Elizabeth. These are Ronda Madrid, because that's all I wear. I'm just throwing that out there. Um, she jazzes up all my outfits because this is, I wear freaking t-shirts every day and yoga pants. So many chat crash course, just put link in the comments. Um, oh, that's hilarious. I listen to podcasts and stuff in the shower too, or audible. Scott's like, wow. I'm like, Hey, if I'm going to be washing my hair, it's going to take me freaking 20 minutes. I'm going to learn something. So the many track, many chat crash course, just put link in the comments. It's a 30 day crash course to master many chat. Mark my words within the next three to six months, it will be a, a term that is very well known to everybody on the, in the online space. Right now, a lot of people are like, they're not understanding ManyChat, they're not using it, they're like, what is it? It will be part of your business, okay? So you need to get ahead of that as well. But the thing with ManyChat is it can be a bit intimidating and overwhelming to learn it yourself because I did self-teach my, myself that as well and it was like, holy smokes. But luckily, Anna Bearfield, my executive assistant, is super freaking smart. So she's built out my many chat for me and taken it over. She's gonna teach you exactly how to build it. And then I'm the creative on it. So we're gonna do, uh, every week we're gonna have a webinar. So I'm gonna go over how you can use it to grow your, your direct sales business. So you need to know how to get people coming to you, get people opting in, get people subscribing, and then providing so much value and content. You can actually do all of that in many chat. You can actually get subscribers and then I'm gonna teach you how to pre-qualify your leads. And so Anna is going, Anna already has, she is, uh, has uh, PDFs built out for each module with screenshots. Can you imagine? It's gonna be the best thing ever. I already saw it, it's awesome. So she shows you exactly where in ManyChat to go, what you're gonna do there, step by step by step. So I'm visual, I don't know about you, but we're gonna have the video portion and then the, the accompanying PDF to go with it, that curriculum, and you have access for life access for life, okay? So you can go back and watch it over and over again. So it starts in the 27th, so just put link in the comments, you, you can opt in there. By the way, the minimum price I've seen out there is $400 for a many chat crash course, and we are selling it for a fraction of the price. It's completely under underpriced. It should be way more than that. So next time we do it, it won't be that price. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. So if you're like, eh, I kinda wanna do it, um, let's see, if you got one customer from it, you would make your money back. So uh, get those business caps on and uh, start investing in yourself, okay? So that's what I have for you guys today. If you guys want to, um, on my personal page, Missy, Missy is interviewing me in 11 minutes. So Missy, it's her youth, isn't that how you say it? Missy, I didn't even know your last name. Can you help me with that? Anyways, Missy's interviewing me on, um, if you guys don't know, I'm a nutritionist and I have PhDs in natural health and holistic nutrition. So those that have just know me as the business girl, the gold digger girl, my previous life is actually uh, in the health industry. So she's gonna interview me on uh, diets and all that stuff, uh, what I think about it, it's just gonna be 
it's I'm really excited. So she's gonna interview me. So just pop on over. Oh, Tammy, will you message me? Tell me how you're doing. That's please. Just message me and be like, hey girl, this is what's going on. I was thinking about about you the other day. And you, Bridget. Okay. So Missy's gonna interview me. I want you guys to come support her. Um, I'll share it onto my page as well if, you, if you're not friends with her and can't find it, but it's gonna be a good interview. So we're gonna go do that right now. And then for those in the water challenge, update. The water challenge ends tomorrow. We have hundreds of people in the water challenge. If you're like, I don't know what she's talking about, it's in Rocking the Fab Life. That's my health group. We're doing a five day water challenge, you guys. The results people are getting, people are losing weight. They're having more energy. Like it's epic. People are kicking the soda habit. Could you imagine? Just from drinking more water, people are just like not drinking soda. The five day water challenge ends tomorrow. I'm raffling off over, I think it's three to $400 worth of product. Uh-huh, yeah, to help you with all the things that the water is going to help you with. So improved digestion, metabolism, sleeping better. Oh my gosh, I have so much stuff to raffle off. So what I'm gonna do on Saturday, I actually, if you guys don't know, um, I'm speaking at uh, Rob Spiri's mastermind. It's called, uh, Tigong Nation, he's doing a mastermind in Utah. So this little Texan is gonna go bundle up in some 20 degree weather and snow. I'm gonna be there Friday through Tuesday. So I'll be streaming live from the freaking cabin in the, in the mountains um, on Saturday. So I'm gonna announce the winners and then on Saturday, I'm going to do a video going over the raffle prizes, okay? So we'll talk a little bit about the water challenge wrapping up and all that good stuff. So for you that are in it, all you have to do is on Friday, which is tomorrow, is go into the event and rock in the fab life and say, I'm done, okay? So if you guzzle your goal of 64 ounces in the morning, you're done, okay? As soon as you hit your goal for the day, comment in there so you don't forget because we're gonna be tracking. That's what you have to do. Go to the events tab in the comments, put I'm done Friday. You have to finish all five days and then Anna will help me get all the names so we can raffle off products. But we're raffling off a bunch, not just one winner. So. For those that did it, you guys rock. You guys have been so committed. People are posting pictures. Like, you guys are next level. I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna head over. Uh, we've got eight minutes. Look on my page or Missy Hergis uh, page. She's gonna interview me on some nutrition, diet, all that good stuff, okay? Thanks for being on, guys. I'll see you later.